my um, research was done about five years ago. And when I was um, preparing this conversation, I kind of sort of pulled out a presentation that I did about five years ago. I thought I need to kind of update that. But actually, a lot of the things that came out in the research, I think, are still really relevant today, even though our um, language has changed around supporting of, of students. So this study was conducted in 2017. Um, when I was uh, a senior lecturer at University of Bedfordshire. So it is acknowledged that this was completed prior to the SSSA standards being implemented. And so some of the language is, is still mentor and mentee, but I haven't changed that because that's what it was at the time. And and uh, but, but it is to be acknowledged that this is still relevant for supervisors uh, as it was then um, for mentors. So this small scale study set out to answer three um, questions, really. Um, I wanted to know, firstly, what is the relationship between mentee and mentor? Uh, what are the challenges and opportunities of mentorship? And also, what are the students' perceptions of mentorship and, and what value do they place on it? So it was to gain um, a better understanding of the lived experience of final year midwifery students, practice based learning in order to facilitate further support um, for learning and, and, and establish whether we needed to make any changes to the current mentorship model that we had. So I used a hermeneutics method, methodological approach um, and interviewed um, the students as well. So the, the background to it was that, you know, practice based learning and mentorship was is absolutely paramount to the development of future midwives and along with professional bodies such as the NMC, the HEIs have got a duty to provide that support for mentors as well as mentees in practice and to be able to make sure that that learning environment and that that relationship is as, as positive as it can be and as effective as it can be for for not only the student, but also for, for that midwife mentor. So through this research, the new meaning of this phenomenon was analysed and understood to gain insight into what is, it was really like to be a student midwife at that time. Um, and it was really to try and gather their really kind of thoughts and feelings as to what that relationship looked like, a relationship meant to them. So how did I do it? So ethical approval was sought um, by Masters in Medical Education. Um, and following purposive sampling, I used semi-structured interviews to gather data from 10 student midwives, uh, three of which I started off doing um, a pilot study at the beginning just to kind of make sure that things you know, were working and didn't need to change anything. And actually, I didn't change anything after the pilot study, continued into the main study and actually um, worked really well. So the interviews were audio taped, consent obtained, which was then transcribed and analysed by myself uh, using interpretive phenomenological data analysis to form those themes that, that were created. So it was 100% recognised that actually there were limitations. Um, I needed to acknowledge that the researcher was an insider researcher and that coercion and power as their lecturer could have had implications for non-participation and data collection. Um, so that's, that was, uh, you know, acknowledged. And it, because it was a small scale study and as it was phenomenological in nature, findings could have been difficult potentially to generalise in the wider sense. Although I think even these years on, I, I still think that this is as relevant today for that student relationship as it as it was then. So I think it is as, as important, but recognising that at the time that, again, very similar to Sarah's research, doing your master's, you're under a bit of time limitations and stuff. And so actually that was that was the re recognition. So themes that came from um, the data, um, some of them I were not a surprise. Some of them were, you know, a bit of a shock, um, but actually it was the the way that they kind of came out as well there was um some there was some tears there was some traumas from some of the experiences that students had had and those are things that you know as that research of being part of that that data collection actually will, will never leave me and actually still now to this day I talk about some of those experiences that those students experience when I'm talking to to midwives so the, first, so the first one that came out was the establishment of that relationship and the bonding with the mentor so what I've got is some uh, excerpts from the actual transcripts. So these are actually students' quotes. So this is exactly what they said verbatim. 
So it felt like it was almost personal, like she didn't like me and didn't think I'd ever be any good. That's how it felt. I've grown and I think that it's definitely to do with the experiences and like the connections that have been built with mentors. So this was about sort of how they began that relationship, how important that first step was to be able to develop that relationship with their mentor and the importance of that. But also when it wasn't going right and how it, it kind of felt like it wasn't professional anymore. And actually she felt like it was personal and actually she, the, the person just didn't like her. And that no matter what she did, that wasn't going to make any difference. So that was quite a quite a strong, um, quite a strong thing that came across from that participant. The second one was about the strength and quality of that relationship. So once that relationship was um, sort of built, how that kind of got, got going, um, this was a positive um, relationship. So this was um, a, a student that felt um, that she had a really good relationship. And she said, it sounds really silly to say, but she had my back. And actually that feeling of that, that midwife having her back throughout her journey was was quite powerful. Um, this student was, but I do think a good relationship with a mentor does help your practice and really does help your learning. So they really valued the strength of that relationship and actually could see the real importance of making sure that that relationship had had good quality relationship and that it was, um, you know, it, it was worth holding on to. Um, this one, again, a lovely, a lovely um, experience that this student had in practice. I don't know, just really lovely people. They were lovely to the women, really just kind and compassionate. And those words were really quite strong. Um, you know, that that feeling that the, the mentor, the relationship with the mentor was really good because she was kind and compassionate to women. And that that's really quite powerful as well. There was a really um, interesting theme that came out, which which I kind of titled in the moment because it, it was there was a real uh, sense of metaphors being used. There was some students that had to really feel they had to try and describe how they felt at that point in that time. And actually, some of them used really articulate language and some of them just couldn't get that feeling out and actually used different different language. So this one, it felt I felt. I felt like things were running out of my, like uh, like sand slipping through your fingers, kind of. I can't get to grips with what's going on. This student really struggled to articulate how she felt when she felt out of control with one of the relationships with her mentors and how she felt like she it was all just literally. And that metaphor was real lived experience of what she felt at that moment in time. So this was about a student who was in theatre and the, the midwife just said, it was like, like maybe screaming at me. So student, write this. She said my name. The student, write this, write this. What are you doing? Doing that. Why are you doing that? Do this. Why are you doing that? And was a real kind of, um, she felt very shouted at, very out of control and very, um, couldn't even get her name couldn't even get her name and actually that was quite powerful and that that generated quite a lot of trauma for that student because the midwife didn't even know her name and this one as well was quite strong um the mid the student feeling really stupid I've never ever felt so stupid and this was a mature student who had had a career before but she'd been felt she'd been made to feel in that particular moment so stupid that nothing that she did was ever going to be right uh, this one was about a positive aspect where a student had had a really poor experience with a mentor and then this next mentor was kind of a saviour. So, yeah, she really sort of picked me up. And I think if everyone could teach like her, it would be beneficial. So there was some real contrast in 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 how they um, experienced experiences. Um, another really big, strong theme was mentors ways. And I think this is really still quite powerful um, to this day. And this is something that I, in, in updates that I do to the university, uh, to the trust that we link with about supporting students. It was about mentors ways. So this was about how students felt like they really had to practice the same as that midwife. Absolutely exactly the same. This student said, so she would say, why didn't you do this? You know, this is the way I do it. And it really kind of made me feel useless, really, in a way that I wasn't good enough. Um, 
you're having to adapt yourself to fit whoever your mentor is and how they work, which can be quite difficult when you're trying to find yourself as your own midwife and the way you try to do things. But you've also then got somebody who does it different and they're your assessor. So you have to mould to fit them. It can be quite draining sometimes. There was a real strong sense that if they didn't follow on the way that their mentor wanted things done, that it was going to affect their assessment. A really huge, huge part of the, the findings. And future as a mentor was another theme. Um, and interestingly, this student sort of said, you know, I don't want to be that, that one, that mentor that's spoken about like, oh, she's horrible. You're going to have a horrible time with her. I want them to come to work and be excited and ready to learn and feel comfortable. And there was a real sense of that, you know, students were going into practice and already they'd got this sense of who these mentors were because of the students would talk and say, oh, God, no, that mentor's awful. I had an awful time with that mentor. And trying to unpick that and, you know, make sure that actually students need to see that each mentor is going to bring something different. And actually one student may not have a really great time with a particular midwife, but actually another student would. And this this one was kind of I hope in the future I will be able to look back at the mentors I feel have helped me grow and sort of develop into the midwife that they want to be. The feelings of the mentee, so the feelings of the student. Um, I mean, this this was really positive And this this student was really kind of, you know, well done. You did really well. That's fine. Even the woman said, wow, you're amazing. And she really felt quite strongly that when the women told her how good she was, that had such an impact and made such a difference to how she felt about what she was doing. Um, this one was quite strong again. Um, this one was not very nice. It feels almost like reverting kind of like to a child being told that you're not going to do this. And yeah, it makes you feel quite small and unable to do things. This student was told she wasn't going to get there um, by a midwife because she wasn't good enough. So confidence was a big one. Um, but this was quite positive because she said, yeah, like a safety net. And I have been really lucky because I've had a couple of really, really fantastic mentors who made me feel really safe and safe to become more independent. Like, but it's all about confidence and the feeling comfortable and people practice best when they feel confident and comfortable. Um, this one, there was a real sense of um, the journey of that student and the things that they had to go through to get to where they want. This next extract is from a student that felt like she had one midwife um, who was like, um, who, who she had a real challenge with with her relationship. And it was like a little devil on her shoulder. And then she had another midwife who she worked with, who was like a little angel on the other shoulder. And it was like he was flipped off my shoulder. And, you know, she was like a little angel almost. She changed it. She changed the way I felt. And this other midwife had completely picked this student up after she'd had such an experience that she was giving up. She wasn't going to continue. She did continue. I know this will be a journey that will carry on past the end of the course. It's about building my confidence and I can't do that again. So lots of kind of journey things. Um, there was another one about peers. Um, and about that's what I mean about the subjectivity. You have two different people that work with the same mentor and have completely different experiences. Um, grades, grade inflation, you know, and also talking about how students would compare each other and how they would compare. Oh, well, I only got a C and you think I'm not as good as her. And then they start talking about what they've achieved. And it's just that checklist. And she felt really rubbish because of her peers. So research found that overall student midwives were so happy with the practice based learning and the mentorship that they experienced and place a lot of value on the relationship, being able to feel comfortable to question and push themselves. And overall was really quite positive. Um, they wanted to get along with their mentor and felt that this was crucial to the success of their relationship and their experience. Um, students described feeling vulnerable and unsafe if there was no mutual trust and respect between the mentor and the mentee so that mutual respect that mutual trust had a huge impact on how safe that student felt and I think that is still as relevant today as it was then uh, the journey that they'd undergone some mentors impacted it greatly most positively but there were some negative ones in some cases uh, challenges were evident for the mentor relationship when students felt they had to mould to a mentor's ways, regardless of whether it was evidence based or not. Students had challenges if they felt they couldn't look at practice and question whether it was evidence based. They still had to do things in a particular way. 
students felt that some mentors were more receptive to students challenging practice than, than, than others. I think that again, that's very similar. And I think findings were still sim you know, similar to other studies at, at the time, but this study demonstrated that student midwives in particular required a mentorship relationship on a more personal level. Um, I'm conscious of time, but just very quickly, how can we make a difference? And I think we have to say that actually as supervisors now, they have such a powerful role to play and students whilst overall demonstrated positive supervision, some relationships, relationships and experiences had a detrimental impact on them. And that if that has a detrimental impact on uh, their experience, that's going to affect our retention on our courses. So absolutely crucial, get it right. A sense of managing and coping and getting through it was evident to the research, which, which from experience wasn't a new concept, but it was that challenges, you know, practice is still challenging. It's still challenging now and there's a lot more pressure. And so actually ensuring that that relationship is, is, is nurtured and safeguarded is absolutely crucial. So what now? Has Triple SA changed anything? I think that, um, you know, we've got to look at how how has triple sa changed anything has it made any differences so is there a way of us having to look at this again and see what what has changed but overall i want i want midwives to 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 reflect and just just slow down and think about the impact that they have on students whether that's good or bad and be kind to each other you know whatever healthcare practitioner you are things things can be challenging but it being kind to each other ensures that we're nurturing that relationship that's so important but also thanking, thanking everybody, thanking the midwives for their tirelessly endless support of student midwives because you're doing such an amazing job. And one of the themes actually from this weekend, uh, this few days, was actually to remind ourselves and remind each other that we are awesome and you are awesome. And actually, we need to keep reminding each other and students of that. So thank you.